A warm good morning to all of you. I, Dr. Robin Chopra, Assistant Professor in Department of Physiotherapy at RP IIT Institute of Medical Sciences, Village Bastada, Karnal. I welcome you all in our YouTube channel that is RP IIT Academics. But before watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon. So let's start the topic. So we are continuing our topic that is with the CSF or the cerebrospinal fluid. So basically this is the position how we can perform the lumbar puncture or the spinal tap. As the first image represents how a in needle is inserted. As this diagram represents how the cerebrospinal fluid is drawn from between the two vertebras. As the spinal needle is inserted usually between the third and the fourth lumbar vertebras and also it is done at the L4 L5 level. As this diagram represents the deep inserting of the needles to collect the CSF sample. And the spinal needle is inserted usually between the third and the fourth lumbar vertebra. As this diagram represents the sideline position of the patients for the CSF or the spinal taps. This is the medical positioning. After collecting, here is representing the CSF samples. This is the animated structure of the spinal taps. So coming to the next that is how the patient is regained to the normal positioning. So after place the patient in the lateral decubitus position which is lying on the edge of the bed and facing away from the operator and basically the place the patient in a knee chest position with the neck flexed and the patient's head should rest on a pillow so that the entire craniospinal axis is parallel to the bed and the sitting position is the second choice because there may be a greater risk of herniation and the CSF pressure cannot be measured. So guys hope so you all understand very well and for more information please stay tuned stay healthy happy Till then take care, goodbye, farewell and please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So till then take care.